Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney, and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. This video will briefly discuss the Fraud Prevention Unit and how it plays a role in U.S. immigration matters. In a previous video on this channel, I briefly discussed um, the U.S. visa process, or specifically the U.S. interview process, or the process of interviewing for a U.S. visa. Uh, specifically in the context of family-based cases, so spouses and fiancés of United States citizens and or lawful permanent residents. This video will discuss the Fraud Prevention Unit briefly. Uh, the Fraud Prevention Unit is essentially a task force uh, within the United States immigration apparatus, specifically within the Department of State, and there's generally a Fraud Prevention Unit at any U.S. Embassy or U.S. Consulate General abroad. And when I say within, it's usually in the immigration units, the immigrant VC units, non-immigrant, maybe the non-immigrant VC unit, I guess. Um, fraud prevention units are specifically tasked with um, sort of a heightened level of due diligence in these matters. As I explained in the interview section, uh, in the interview video on this channel, um, most interviews are fairly routine in a sense. Uh, they're, they're there to provide a level of due diligence regarding the case and, and ensuring that the applicant is a bona fide applicant and that the relationship is a bona fide relationship and pursuant to the adjudicatory process of the Department of State, the visa is duly issued and legitimately issued. Uh, fraud Prevention Unit is sort of an extra level of protection to ensure that those seeking visas to the United States um, are not doing so fraudulently or with some form of illicit intent. Um, it's been my uh, experience that there are certain red flags that sort of will red flag a case to the Fraud Prevention Unit, and under those circumstances, um, usually, again, an honest explanation of the facts of the case will usually result in, you know, everything sort of being um, adjudicated smoothly, as long as things are explained. Uh, to the FPU about the about the specific facts in a given situation. Under certain sets of circumstances, you know, there's going to be grounds of inadmissibility in a given case, uh, just factually speaking. And where there's factual grounds of inadmissibility or legal grounds of inadmissibility, you know, one has to deal with those. The thing to keep in mind, just specifically on immigration in general and with respect to the Fraud Prevention Unit, the biggest issue, in my opinion, is this. Tell the truth. There is no reason to lie to Department of State uh, personnel when going through the visa process, the visa application process. In fact, lying about a given set of circumstances can and does result in worse consequences than simply telling the truth. In many cases involving a ground of inadmissibility, telling the truth and seeking a waiver is oftentimes the smoothest way through the process. Yes, it can take more time but the ultimate results are going to be far more beneficial than taking the risk and just in general undertaking the act of misrepresenting oneself before officials of the United States government. It's just not a good idea. Um, but in those cases where one simply tells the truth, in those cases where one sort of understands the process or has an immigration attorney that understands the process and can guide one through sort of, yes, Dealing with fraud prevention unit is, is a stressful endeavor. It's somewhat akin to being audited by the IRS, although on a far less high pressure level. It's, it's usually sort of an acute moment within a given case that lasts for a couple of days. And once the adjudication, and once the adjudicators have ascertained what they need to ascertain, usually, as long as the truth has been told, either a ground of inadmissibility may be found and it can be usually dealt with and remedied through things like an I-601 waiver, or the, conversely, if there is no ground of inadmissibility, but there's just a factual situation in the case that is, you know, again, a red flag, but can be explained, you know, going through the fraud prevention unit, telling the truth, and explaining the circumstances of the case will oftentimes result in eventual visa issuance. But, to be clear, if, if one gets nothing else from this video, uh, do not lie to the United States Embassy. Uh, you know, fraud and misrepresentation added on to another legal ground of inadmissibility not only compounds the level of uh, the threshold that one has to overcome to obtain a waiver, 
but it also creates problems just in general. And strictly speaking, immigration fraud is a criminal offense. And one who is caught engaging in immigration fraud, uh, especially an American citizen, uh, could face criminal penalties, fines, and even possibly incarceration for engaging in immigration fraud. So for that reason, don't lie to the U.S. Embassy. In most cases, yes, interviews are rather um, routine, but there are those limited sets of cases where the Fraud Prevention Unit feels it's necessary for a heightened level of scrutiny to be placed on a case, and under those circumstances, simply moving forward, telling the truth, um, yes, assistance of legal counsel is helpful in most of those cases to be able to concisely explain one's situation. Um, but lying about, it, lying about a set of circumstances or lying about one's uh, legal status as far as perhaps having a criminal background check or having, let's say, overstayed in the United States on a previous trip into the U.S., none of that is going to be helpful when it comes to dealing with the Fraud Prevention Unit.